Hey guys, Joel here and welcome back to another episode. Oh my god. So I had to laugh already because today's topic is yet again on Square Enix. Again. Oh my god, I don't know what to say guys. Like, this company has been in a roll. Not in a good way. With all this shit they've been doing and... Uh, at this point, I'm gonna have to boycott this, this damn company because they've been pissing me off lately. All this shit they've been doing. I read like three articles already lately since last week. One today... And one three days ago and another one, I don't remember one other one I read, but it's three articles on this company with a lot of the shit they're doing. And oh my God, it's terrible. It's really pissing me off. Oh my God. Where do I even begin? Uh, number one, and let's talk about the games that they have coming up. I don't remember all the games at the top of my head, but I was, I read the article about the like up and coming like games, you know, the lineup and everything that's coming up a couple of games for this year and also for next year, I believe. And I was looking at the ones for this year. Really disappointed, really disappointed because I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they have like some sort of like agreement, some, I don't know, something they have in writing with Nintendo because a lot of these games that's coming out that I want to get, that I'm interested in, is all for Nintendo. It's all for the Switch. And I'm really pissed off about that. When since Square Enix became a Nintendo company, you know, we all know them as Square, with Squaresoft when it was, you know, they made a big name with the RPGs on the PlayStation console. So when did it become a Nintendo, you know, company that they're, they're mainly all their games is on the Switch? Like, I don't understand that. They have some up and coming 2D HD games, HD2, however you say it, that's on the Switch only exclusive. There's no, there's nothing about like Octopath Traveler or Triangle Strategy coming to the PlayStation consoles. Never. It doesn't seem that way. Nothing positive in there about that. I was hoping that would have been some news in there, but their lineup is mostly games on the Switch and I'm not happy with that. They have like one and two on the PS4. They have a couple of us on the PS5 and PC uh, and um, some on the Xbox and everything, Series X and all that stuff. But I don't see anything of really that that big of interest on the PlayStation 4. There was only three. There is only one so far that I know of. There's only one 2D HD game coming to the PS4. And I have spoke about it already on here. And that's Dragon Quest. And that's about it. I think they're remaking Dragon Quest 3 or something. And that's the only one we're getting. And I'm like really pissed off about that. I really want to get more of these games, you know? The Octopath Traveler that I played on, on on the phone, you know, mobile game, it was really good. Like, you know, I just don't want to be a mobile game. I prefer being on the console. Like, why can't we get these games on the PlayStation? I don't understand what's going on right now, you know? And it sucks that there's only going to be one coming to, you know, the PlayStation, to the PS4. You know, PS4, and I think this is also on... Um, I think that one actually is going to be on the PS4 and PS5 and I think Steam. I don't, I'm not 100% on that one. And everything I, I might have to find that article and just like you know just post it down you know in the description below for you guys to see the you know the link and everything but that's the only one the switch is getting all these games all these jrpgs like all these traditional you know retro jrpgs is all going to switch for some reason i don't know why and uh this is crazy um so i'm happy to hear that i mean read that when i saw that in the lineup i'm happy as well that they actually make another dragon quest as well I think it's Dragon Quest Ten. Is Ten the one we are? And I keep forgetting because the Roman numerals. I'm not too good with that, <laughs> honestly. But I think the 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 latest one was nine, if I'm not mistaken. That's the one that I have that I have to still finish. And now they're gonna come out with ten. So that's positive news to hear because that's also gonna be in the PS4 as well. So I'm happy to hear about that. And there's also one more game that I'm actually really happy to finally know that they're gonna make <laughs> is another Star Ocean game. Oh my God, I've been waiting for a Star Ocean game for a long time because. That one that came out in 2016, I believe, it was called Faithfulness and Integrity, if I'm saying it correct. Oh my god, that shit sucked. That was the worst Star Ocean in the series. There was barely any space travel in that, in that game. You know, you were just like confined to like one planet, I believe, or two. I don't remember much about the game because I had it back then. I think I had it on the, um, what was it? When did it come? Did it come out on the threes? I don't think it was on the 360, was it? No, maybe I'm going too far back. <laughs> but I, I know it was on Xbox, I had played it. That's when I used to be an Xbox um, guy back then. Yes, I was. <laughs> back then, I was like strictly with Xbox, like 360. I you know, fell in love with the console. Then after that, I got the Xbox One. And I went back to my roots and got back on place. PS, got the PS4 back. And ever since, that's it. <laughs> and ever since, I don't like Xbox anymore. Like, just, I hate them, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> but yeah. So I had it for one of those consoles. I don't remember. But that game sucked. You know, and oh my god, it was just so bad. So bad. I believe it was an Xbox One. I, I, it has to have been that generation. I don't think it was that far back so, uh, since I said 2016, right? But whatever. So that game sucked. Happy to know they're making another um, Star Ocean. It says it's supposed to be coming out this year when the release date says this year. 
But I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's going to be coming out this year. But if it does, I'm going to be happy for them hype. And everything else they had was just a bunch of crap I didn't care about. Um, they have um, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. This stupid bullshit. They turned this into an episodic game where now, you know, you only go play half of the game. I don't understand how people like that. How, you know, this game, that game was like one of the top sellers when it came out. I don't understand. Like, you're just playing half a game. You're in Midgard, that's it. You don't even do anything else. Why pay the money for that? Why pay $60 for half of a game when you can just get the original, the better version, where you explore outside of Midgard, the real map? You enjoy the game for what it has. You don't have to worry about DLC, patches, all that shit. You just enjoy the game. I don't understand. I don't understand what this, this new generation, honestly, of game is like. This, they're terrible. So I didn't care about that. Then they have Final Fantasy um, 16. Don't care about that either because they went the whole um, action Western RPG, you know, crap with them. And that's the next topic we're going to talk about when it comes to Square Enix. So that's it with the lineup. I don't remember what the other games are because I don't care. But everything else is mainly on the Switch. Like the games I really want, like those HD games, HD2D games, which sucks. I'm really mad about that. Whatever. You know, so that's what Square Enix wants to do now. You know, screw them. You know, whatever. The next topic now on Square Enix is just like what I mentioned, is how they're like trying to become more of a Western RPG company. And um, I read an article about that where someone within the company is not too happy about that. And they definitely, they, I, I don't I don't blame them. They definitely have all right to be upset. I spoke about that already on this channel with how that company, like how a lot of the RPGs now has that like type of, you know, Western feel to it and stuff. And um, <clears throat> and um, how I don't like the route they're going and um, how everything is action based now. And the guy said in, in the article, you know, that, you know, they should go back to their roots and everything and they shouldn't be following this whole like, you know, this Western approach with their games. And I 100% agree on that. I don't know what happened to Square Enix ever since the merge. You know, they haven't really made a good game lately that I can think of. And um, it's just, it's crazy. Like, I really miss Square Software. I mentioned that so many times. I really do miss that company when they were actually, you know, traditional Japanese role-playing games. And all of a sudden, now they're shifting over to Western RPGs. And that kind of makes the company not relevant, you know, because you're, like, you're trying to be something you're not. And, um, you know, JLPGs, the JLPGs for a reason, you know, because they're, they're an alternative to Western RPGs. And many gamers out there, like myself, you know, when it comes to RPGs, they want to get something different. You know, they want to, they, you know, we enjoy JLPGs, you know, or we might enjoy those more than Western RPGs. For me, I enjoy them more than JLPGs. I was, I'll play Western RPGs here and there, but they're not really my cup of tea. So, yeah, so I prefer JLPGs. Definitely alternative and everything. And um, <clears throat> it was like, uh, damn, I don't know what to say anymore. Like with this company, it's like they're just a mess. Like, but like I said, I agree one hundred percent with what he said. And it's like I don't know what to say. What's going on? Why are they changing the whole like you know the whole aspect of the company and stuff and sh started shifting and trying to like appeal to certain people or follow a trend? That's what it seems like nowadays. And I don't like that. You know, like Square Enix. Oh my God, you guys. That was a terrible. You guys have been on a roll lately, and like I said, not a good way. Really upset with what you guys are doing with the company. How you guys are destroying a lot of these great games from the past, making them all these mobile gotcha bullshit and other mess that you're doing with the company, and you know games that we all you know loved, you know growing up with and everything like that. Don't like it. You know, not happy with that. They need to go back to their roots and everything. Stop trying to appeal to other people and just like fix that company. But I, I feel like it's probably already too late. <laughs> That's what I believe. I feel like it's already too late. But, um, oh my God. Ugh, I don't know what to say, guys. Like, ugh, like I'm really disappointed in them. Like, I really don't know much, like, JRPG companies still out there that's, you know, really sticking to that that traditional formula, you know? Like I said, minus the Trials of Cold Steel series, which um is by Falcom. And I forgot, I think it's Xseed. I'm not 100%. And uh, what else company Um, I can think of? Uh, and maybe, maybe Bandai Namco, even though that Tales of Arise crap shit was terrible. So I don't even know about them right now. <laughs> and what else company? I don't even know of any other companies that, like, oh, Atlas. We still have Atlas, but I don't even know what recent games they made. I actually should check to see what, um, like on the website, see what like up and coming games they have coming out and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's sad. Like, <laughs> Like, I really don't like what's going on now with this company. And it's like a mess, guys. This is crazy. But anyways, the last thing I want to talk about with Square Enix 
is oh my god i don't know where to begin with this this is something new that just like i think i don't know if it's been around for a long time or what but it's it's new to me like i first found out about like two months ago and that's nfts i don't know if you guys know about that and i was trying to figure out what the hell is that and it's actually it actually means non-fungible tokens it's sort of like a form of like cryptocurrency which i don't like because um, you guys already know, you guys should know, probably don't know, but that stuff is all like a pyramid scheme, is all for like, um, you know, for a bunch of like con artists and like scammers to like get rich fast, you know? But it mainly applies to like people who are already rich, just to help them get richer, you know? And um, I'm not a fan of it. I have like got into crypto a little bit, like with Robinhood, I have like invested a little bit into crypto back then, like with Dogecoin and stuff, but I felt iffy about it. Like it felt like it was something like, you know, like, Something not good to do. So that's when I had backed out of it. And now I'm not, I don't do that stuff anymore. You know, I got into it. Thank God I didn't spend much on it. The most I ever had was like $100 worth of it. And stuff of crypto. Got rid of it. And um, all that stuff. Because that stuff, you got to be careful with. Because it's not good. You know, these people use it just to like try to make a quick buck. But it mainly works for people who already have money. Like I said, people's rich. Or people's like somewhat rich. But it's, it's, it's sad because, you know, that type of formula is like, it, it, it like kind of like brainwashes like you know us poor people into like getting into it to put our money in that you know that we barely have just to make these people who have money more richer you know so now they have this nfts thing that's just similar to like crypto you know where it's like artwork or like like a like a digital form of like artwork and stuff that they're trying to implement to games and music and art and stuff like that to make money off of there's a lot of people who make money off of nfts with um like like um selling art that's not even theirs by the way that is still art online you know like memes and like other like stuff they'll still off a line so it's still offline and um sell it back as their work and make money off of it which is wrong we all know that's a scam and everything so now they're trying to implement this into games so now with square enix when i read the article today uh they talked about it where they're, they're thinking about putting that in their games too in the future and if they do that i'm sorry that, that that's gonna draw the line for me I'm definitely not going to buy any more games from Square Enix. I don't care how good the game is. I don't care if it's like Final Fantasy VII, like if they actually make it, <laughs> you know, the way it's supposed to be. Like the old the old game for the PS1 and like remade that, but still kept in that formula. Like made like a kind of like a HD, whatever, form, whatever you want to say. I still wouldn't buy it, you know, because the company is going too far. There's like, they're a mess right now. I don't like where they're going with this stuff. And now they're trying to implement that into these games now nfts and like crypto and stuff like come on like no i don't want this stuff in my games we play games to play games you know for fun you know we're not here to try and like use these games to like get rich you know overnight and stuff like that i don't like that at all they need to get rid of this shit and a lot of people are upset about it they try to implement this into many other games already and it fails you know and um, i don't like what's going on right now guys it's, i don't know what's going on in the future of gaming to you guys like what do you guys think is going on because this is terrible. This is so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. And um, I'm not happy about it. Like I said, I just, just found out about this. I like, recently, you know, started like learning a little bit of what this thing is about, what is NFTs and stuff like that. I even saw YouTube videos where people talked about it and the truth behind it and how bad it is and how it's just like, you know, for these rich people just to make more money off of the poor people, you know, in poverty and stuff like that. And that's that's messed up, you know, and then you have these people who's... Um, taking other people's work online with like memes and stuff and selling it as their own to make money off of it and stuff like that. And you want to put them into games now. Like, this is just terrible. Like, I don't like what's going on. And we need to like, like I said, like I said in many videos already, <laughs> band together and just, just let this thing go. <laughs> let this thing just like, just fade away and just die in, you know, in the distance and, you know, like save gaming and stuff because this is not what gaming is about. You know, I don't want this stuff in my games. You know, I know you guys don't want this in your games. And it's bad enough that we have DLC already, you know, and like microtransactions in games now. Do we really want this next? No. We never asked for that and they pushed it on us. And people like willy-nilly just, you know, you know, it, it took it. You know, like, this is wrong. This is not what gaming is, you know. Like, gaming is supposed to be entertaining. It's supposed to be something for fun, you know. Something you just enjoy. Not here to try to make money off of it or pay... I mean, play and then get like, you know, certain, like get crypto for play, playing and stuff like that. Like, no, like this is not what, what gaming should be. So I'm really upset. Highly disappointed Square Enix ever mentioned anything about that. You know, 
especially for a Japanese company. I wasn't I wasn't expecting them to be so westernized like that, you know, with the, the whole mindset and like how like, you know, what's going on with them. It's like it feels like, a, 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 you know, an American company right now, because that's how people are here. You know, people are here like that. Would they like to participate in those schemes and, you know, like a lot of people money hungry and stuff like that here. And, you know, all that stuff like that's wrong. I don't like that at all. <laughs> don't like that at all, guys. You know, and um, when I read about that, I was really disappointed and I was just shaking my head like, no, please don't. Because if you guys do it, that's it. That's it, Sweet Enix. You're done. <laughs> never buy another game from you guys. Never, never, never. You know, so this stuff does not need to be in games. And you people need to fight back against this stuff. And not only fight back for it not to be in games, but also to have this, you know, this let it not exist at all, NFTs, you know? Like, it's bullshit, you know? This and the crypto and that stuff is just scams, you know? I will not get into that stuff. And whoever tells you otherwise is idiots, you know? Because they'll, they'll believe anything. There's a lot of people out there that, that really believes, you know, these too good to be true stories where they feel like, oh, they can get rich overnight doing this or doing that. Like, no, that's not how life works, you know? <laughs> that's not how life works at all. You know, if you want something, you got to, you know, push for it. You have to have the motivation, determination. You got to work hard for it, you know? You can't just like sit home and say, oh, all right, I'm going to put a dollar into this and now it's going to turn into $1,000 or $10,000. Like, no, that's not how things work in life. Sorry, guys, but that's not how it works, you know? We all got to work for, you know, what we want, you know, and earn it and all that stuff. You can't sit down and just think that it's going to fall from the heavens, you know, <laughs> with money. Like, it's not how it works in life. So, yeah. Oh, but um, I'm not happy about that. And like I said, I don't want that stuff in my games. <laughs> I know you guys don't want that either. We need to get rid of this stuff. That NFTs, the crypto, the DLC, microtransactions needs to go. And whatever, whatever else thing they're trying to push on us. And now with uh, this whole metaverse shit. That's been like a major flop with um, Facebook's that idiot Mark Zuckerberg. I call him Fuckerbird. Don't like him at all. Hate the dude. You know, trying to push that on people. That flopped. <laughs> so it's like, it's, it's a mess, you know? Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. You know, I, it's just, it's crazy. Like, it, it really pisses me off to know what's going on now in this world. Like, uh, and how easy you can manipulate people. Like, especially the, you know, poor people like us. Like, how these people, like, just. Damn, <laughs> I can control, you know, these people just like that. It's sad. <sighs> but anyways, that's enough. I uh, talked enough on this topic. I just wanted to, um, you know, just talk about that real quick with um, Square Enix and everything and like how they've been in a role lately. And I'm not happy with what's going on right now with them at all. And what's going on in general, you know, as a whole, you know. So, yeah, but like I said, it's just crazy with this with NFTs and all this other crap. But at the end of the day. I'm just like here to provide knowledge to you guys. It's your money at the end of the day. If you guys want to do it, go ahead, you know, but I'm just letting you guys know that that stuff is all a pyramid scheme is not good and you're just losing out on money, you know, but, um, but anyways, so that's pretty much it guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And, um, yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's crazy with them. Don't like what's going on. But anyways, like I said, you know, like comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Definitely appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.